All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we're going to be cracking on YouTube because they have made yet another stupid decision that really doesn't make any sense and it's just a head scratcher in general because pretty much all of the response that I've seen to this change being made has been universally negative. There hasn't been realistically any positive discourse about this entire subject at all for YouTube. And it seems like not only is this another move that's going to just upset creators here on the website, but also is going to be upsetting a lot of the audience and viewers who don't even make videos, but just kind of use the platform for their viewing purposes and whatnot. This change is taking away dislikes on a video, at least the public counts for them. So, you know, for example, obviously you go down a little bit on this video, you'll see that there's probably thousands of likes and I don't know, like 80 to 150 dislikes on this maybe. At least that's kind of like the, I guess, average or so that I've noticed at least a few hours after upload and whatnot. So that that's like how everything displays now, right? There's the likes and then there was the dislike counter. Honestly, at this point, it might not even be there anymore to begin with, but that that's how it always was, right? Keep in mind, if you wanted to, there has always been a feature on YouTube where you could simply just turn off the public displaying of likes and dislikes on the video. It's literally right there. When Every time you upload a video, there's an option right there in the checklist to turn this off. Well, YouTube is permanently changing it to where the dislikes basically don't show at all. So you're not going to be able to see how many people are disliking this video and whatnot because, well, we couldn't have that, right? That would only make too much sense. I mean, God forbid we see too many dislikes on a YouTube video. Who could who could mentally handle something like that, man? So uh, YouTube came out on Twitter today to announce the change is finally being made. It's been something that's been rumored for a while but it is now formally happening and it's gonna go down so earlier this year we launched an experiment making the dislike count private based on what we learned the dislike button is staying but the count is now private to the creators in the studio to help prevent targeted dislike attacks so as you can see the quote tweets were going absolutely crazy because people do not support this decision it makes no sense for realistically everybody involved it doesn't make sense for people who make youtube videos and it doesn't make sense for the people who actually watch them and consume them. So, for instance, as a creator here, I've been making videos for almost a decade in April. I have been making videos on this channel for a decade. Throughout my nearly 10 years of experience making videos on this website, the dislike count has been pretty fundamentally important in telling me what people think about the videos that I'm making, or I guess realistically, even what they think about the opinions that I share in them. Now, usually my videos have about a 99% like to dislike ratio, so that means about 99 out of every 100 people are leaving likes instead of dislikes. But, you know, occasionally I'll have a video that, that drops down to like 93% like dislikes. Uh, there's even very rare instances where it drops below that. As a creator, I use these tools to look at and kind of make decisions about my content. I don't know if people know this, but I oftentimes do monthly reports for my YouTube channel so I can kind of like really detail what I'm doing right and wrong. And this was solidly fundamental. Now, of course, this means that uh, I guess they'll still be here. I can look at these in YouTube Studio, but it is just stupid to take them away because it was also useful to the viewers who don't have access to that feature. For instance, let's say uh, you click on a video that it promises you free Fortnite V-Bucks if you click, right? And you're an eight-year-old child on the website. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. You know, anyone could tell you anything and you're clicking that video, man. So you click it and it turns out, you know, it's a 14-minute video of some crotchwad fucking obnoxious idiot, right, on there. Oh, uh, hey guys, welcome back to my video. And today uh, we're going to be fucking off, right? Not doing what they say, okay? Just making some bullshit up. Back in the day, quote unquote, aka when YouTube used features on their website to fucking work, uh, you could look at the like to dislike and see that everyone was spamming it with dislikes. And you could be like, oh, this is a bullshit video, right? Because everyone fucking hates it, they're disliking, I'm gonna click off now. Well, uh, you, you don't get that liberty anymore, okay? So if you come across a potential, you know, scam video, uh, spam, anything like that, yeah, you're pretty much fucked because uh, the like and dislike will no longer tell you if that is quality content to watch. Now everybody is going fucking psychotic with the theories on why this is happening. I've seen so many different theories, one of which being, oh, everyone was spamming the YouTube rewinds with dislikes, so YouTube got a, a fucking, you know, a finger up the ass, they didn't like that one. Now they're taking away the likes to dislikes. Uh, I can see why people, I guess, on the surface would think this, but I don't think that this was realistically the case because for years, YouTube rewind videos were getting dislike bombed, they weren't doing very well in terms of reception. 
And it wasn't like they made this change back in 2018. Uh, they put out multiple rewinds and got them dislike bombed before this even happened, right? It was a whole trend to basically just dislike the YouTube rewind regardless, even before they were thinking about doing this. So I, I don't think that that was the case. Uh, there was something I saw where people are saying, because uh, apparently there's a documentary coming out on Dr. Fauci, which I don't fucking understand why that's a thing or why anyone really would care to watch that, but uh, it got dislike bombed, and so people are, I guess, hypothesizing slash conspiracizing that YouTube, for some reason, showed political bias, and, and that was why the dislikes were disappearing. Once again, I don't think this was the case either. Uh, I would love for it to be, because that would be easy enough to make a video on, but at the end of the day, bro, there have been dozens, if not hundreds, of movie trailers that are SJW-esque or whatever, right? You know, people say that they're woke and shit like that. I don't use terms like that. But, you know, th there's been a lot of these controversial movie trailers over the years. Once again, never made this decision until now. What I really think it comes down to is YouTubers are becoming complete fucking pussies. And I know that this might, uh, this might not make sense right off the jump, but bear with me here, okay? YouTube is claiming that this feature, or I guess the lack thereof of this feature, is in order to, I guess, help prevent targeted dislike attacks. So, I guess people can't go ratio videos or whatnot that they disagree with or they don't like the creator, things like that. But, I'm pretty sure what it really comes down to is there's probably some partnered YouTubers or whatever that they're asking questions to, and they're like, well, you know, I've been getting a little too much hate in the comments recently, and people have really been disliking my videos pretty fucking heavily, so uh, it would be pretty cool if we didn't have that anymore. I I'm pretty certain that's what it really comes down to, because these uh, targeted dislike attacks, as they're being described, were completely rare. Okay, I mean, I'm pretty, I would say, in tune with what's going on on YouTube. A lot of the times when I've seen these kind of quote-unquote campaigns to dislike something, it was shit that people genuinely disliked, you know what I'm saying? Videos that I've seen dislike bombed are movie trailers that pander to people and the actual core audience just doesn't fucking care for it. Yeah, people dislike bombed this Fauci trailer because in reality, he doesn't need a fucking documentary, right? No one's watching a documentary about the head of the fucking CDC or whatever at this point, man. No one cares, all right? We, no one gives a shit about Fauci. I'm not watching a documentary about him, you know what I'm saying? I, I've got fucking better things to do with my time, better things to watch. Things that are actually going to interest me and not depress me, so... And, like with the YouTube rewinds, the reason that everyone was fucking disliking them is because not only were they annoying, but they were completely out of touch with the actual community. It only highlighted the more, I would say, corporatized creators, if that makes sense. AKA, if your channel had a legitimate chance to become a TV show where you could be featured on Jimmy Kimmel, right? Or, you know, you could be pushed on the trending tab constantly. Yeah, YouTube is going to invite you to be in the rewind, but if, you know, you're Optimus or another creator that doesn't have that brand appeal or whatever, right? They didn't give a fuck, you know? They weren't celebrating your successes or anything like that. Nobody else was getting a fucking shout out, unless, of course, they were right on YouTube's teat. So, there's been a lot of legitimate reasons that people dislike videos on YouTube, and that's okay. Like, I don't give a fuck that people dislike my videos, that's fine. That doesn't change how I feel about myself, or most of the times, how I feel about my opinions. Now, if I can be legitimately swayed with new information, that's a completely different situation, but just because a video gets fucking 92% like to dislike ratio, I'm not gonna go consider suicide in the bathroom, right? Because, let's be real, that's fucking ridiculous, and people who actually take these numbers that seriously probably either A, shouldn't be on the internet, or B, maybe even both here, B, should be talking to somebody about mental issues, because... I'm sorry, man, it is just not mentally healthy to be so fucking obsessed about YouTube numbers and about, oh my god, do people like my video? That, you know, if you get a little bit more dislikes than usual, all of a sudden you have a fucking stick up your ass about it, right? That's stupid. So if I'm right here, and I guess YouTube is removing the public dislike count because they don't want people's feelings hurt, uh, we're essentially getting to a point where this website is removing core critical features that people use to legitimately better their content or legitimately better their viewing experience by not watching fucking junk videos that literally aren't good or make any sense whatsoever. Uh, we've gotten to that point where those kinds of things are being removed, potentially, because people's poor little feelings got a little hurt, okay? Now, as a creator, I will say, does it feel great, I guess, when there's tons of dislikes on your video? Absolutely not. But at the end of the day, man, you gotta brush that shit off and focus on the next fucking upload, or, you know, you gotta log off the computer and go outside and do something, bro. It really isn't that deep. This is the internet at the end of the day. 
And I feel like recently we've seen this trend of like creators being complete goddamn pussies all the time, right? Like we just did a video the other day where a commentator literally deleted their whole fucking online persona repeatedly because quite literally they lost a debate, okay? So it's not like this is far-fetched in my thinking here. I genuinely do think that, you know, the creators that YouTube are talking to on a consistent basis might just be pussy enough that pressing a button on the website was enough to actually like cause a problem, cause considerable stress to these people and have YouTube fucking bitched at to have it removed. I, I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest. At the end of the day, man, I feel like that this hopefully in best case scenario is just another one of these fucking oversights by YouTube where they don't listen to anybody on their platform. I mean, viewers and creators alike are telling them that they don't want this change to be made. They launched an experiment on doing it earlier this year. I remember when they announced that people were not happy about it. Everyone was shitting on them for it. Then you would think that when your whole community that uses your website is bitching at you to not do something that you would probably just not do that. But instead, YouTube kind of has like, I feel like they have this hidden policy almost because like, how do you fuck up so many times in a row? I feel like at this point, YouTube has a policy where they, they're like, hey, every four or five months, let's piss the creators and everybody else off. Let's do something fucking stupid and ridiculous and, and just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. That way they get riled up and they shit on us and there's like this big backlash and it creates a PR for us. It, it creates a story for us. Like if that's what's going on at this point, man, then fucking hats off to the social media team over at YouTube. You guys are killing it. You're pissing so many people off, getting so many, uh, getting so much attention for these kinds of things. But yeah, you're fucking everything up. I mean, YouTube is trying to strip every last piece of what makes it a unique website away, right? You know, share your opinions, you know, be yourself. That was the fucking cornerstone of YouTube when this website launched, you know? Hey, you're the little guy, you don't have the money for a multi-million dollar TV production budget? Fuck it, come be a superstar on our website for being funny, okay? And, and then, of course, 15 years later, we've gotten to this point where it's like, well, we gotta take the dislikes away because people are getting a little bit sad. Well, we gotta ignore what everybody's wanting because maybe the advertisers will get a little mad. Like, dude, what the fuck are you guys thinking? I have no clue. At this point, it's gotten down to like, I'm expecting more fucking dumb decisions from YouTube in the future. And I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys probably are at this point too. Because if you're not, man, you just you fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, can't put the blame on you. We all know the saying, right? We, we've all heard it a million fucking times, but uh, yeah, here we go again, guys. So thank you guys for watching, though. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shop Opti down below. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, just not stunned, but really just not happy and signing out.